We don't know the person that's in that booking report. Something happened. What? That's why we're here today. What and where is she? We want her home. That was my Trace Richardson's cousin. The 24-year-old woman has been missing since the night of September 17th. That's about 12 days ago when she walked out of a sheriff's station in the middle of the night, 1.30 a.m., no phone, no car. They'd impounded her car, no purse. Back to my fantastic panel and so delighted to have Michael Richardson, the father of the missing woman, joining us on the phone. Uh, Mr. Richardson, stand by. We want to include some of our other guests for a second. Robin Baum, what I don't understand is that they went to this extreme length of impounding her car because she had this much pot. We know in California there's something called medicinal pot, and I lived there for 18 years. I could tell you that people are all over the place taking medicinal pot. Nobody's impounding their cars, and half of those people don't need it for medical reasons because anybody can buy medicinal pot by walking into a store and saying, I've got a toothache or an earache. Okay, so why are they going to the, the lengths of impounding this woman's car because she's got a little bit of a pot on her? Well, you know, I have no idea the amount of pot, but obviously she didn't say it was medicinal pot and they were just looking for some excuse. It, it's almost like harassment to me because I'm sitting here thinking, for whatever they did, look at the tremendous amount of expense that California is now going to incur because of all the searching for the woman and it would have all been avoided by a simple cab fare or a ride home it just this just doesn't make any sense and, and it's really a tragedy way too hard on the cops there's no evidence that they were trying to harass her it is a crime to have pot in california if you don't oh, have so a medicinal you are you. Per, uh, who, who is prescription. this guy and oh, you work for the cops. unless they There's had no justification a duty, okay. look, who let is me see the panel. A reason to believe that she this was a danger to herself or others. Oh, they had oh, absolutely no apologist. duty to get her home. You know, I hear oh, you. You had right. your you piece. Now let, let, let Leo danger. Terrell speak. Jane, Go ahead, this is a classic example of a person who's not a lawyer, who's not a law enforcement, who knows nothing about 5150. He is I nothing am more a than a cop. Do you know what you're talking about? You don't. Jane, Ryan Russell, does... you are an attorney and a forensic psychologist. Make your point oh. in 15 seconds so that Leo can respond and the father of the missing girl can respond. If the cops had a reason to believe that she was a danger to herself or to others, they should not have released her. But we don't have enough evidence to hang that on the cops. Okay, hold on. You hold do. on. You've, you've made a point. You Here's the point. She, according to a valet and other people, said she was from Mars and said she had come there to avenge Michael Jackson's death. If that's not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, I don't know what is, all right? It was the very reason that got her into jail was enough reason to keep her and watch her in well, that, some that's, capacity. That's not true, we don't know how ladies, she behaved in custody. All right, L Lou, Lou Palumbo. That's not true. You know, fortunately, we don't incarcerate you for extended periods of time because of what they call theft of services or small quantities of a controlled substance. The simple fact of this is, is, remains. The police were not compelled to provide her transportation upon her release. What we're really talking about is just common sense and decency yes. and what I would consider to be an error in judgment. All right, no let, one, let's stop No right one's there. good I, judgment lets a you know young what? lady right. you know leave at 1.30 exactly. in the morning. You know Jane, what, Jane. if I have a party, if I have a party and a young girl is acting good, and she wants to leave in the middle of the night, it's not I'm right. going to say no. You're not going to leave. Right. You're not going to leave. Point. Right. Jane, Jane, let me make your right point. mind. Jane, let, let me, me, let me, me do let this. Me While this we're talking, I want to show a Google map we have of all the different places. Let's roll the Google map as we continue this conversation. Uh, you'll see okay. Joffrey's restaurant. You'll see where she lives. You'll see a possible sighting. You'll see the sheriff's station. I mean, this is a massive area that they have to search. Um, Debbie in California, your question or thought, ma'am? Well, I, I feel bad for the family, but my comment is um, it, I believe it's unfair to throw in um, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, anybody that's famous, because, you know, they have bodyguards, limos. What do you they, mean? They'll have what, what? somebody there looking out for them. As an adult, you get arrested. The police do not, they don't play taxi cab. I mean, she should this have is made a phone apologist. call. All right. Every right. I, listen, I, 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 Debbie, I, I got mean, Debbie in California. Look, look, there is, okay, there we got to no go to the cheese. I'm going to take, I'm going to take Leo Terrell and the father in a moment. More on this mystery in Malibu also coming up.